Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode, today we're gonna have a look into the Bitcoin price and why we're gonna maybe reach $14,000 within this week or maybe if we're gonna have a possible retracement back to $10,800 since we had now this nice breakout from this descending triangle to the upside and currently we are testing again this 12k area. But before we start, a little reminder, we still have this special Bybit bonus going on for this month. So if you have already signed up to Bybit with my referral link that you find down below here in the video description, if you put here this voucher code and you deposit at least 0.1 Bitcoin, you can get up to $180 completely for free. And also if you're trading over on Femex, you also find my referral link down below here to get $80 bonus. If you're a new trader, then you can participate to this special uh, Femex uh, trading event that is going on right now currently uh, we still have three days uh, before the event is starting so make sure to participate here if you anyway are trading Bitcoin and other assets uh, up to 100x leverage because here you can get even more bonus and also you will pay less fees during the event and now let's start with the content my friends because Bitcoin currently is looking again way more bullish than we had here this uh, retest of this $10,500 currently also we are breaking out from bearish patterns so we should expect a continuation to the upside especially because of all the DXY currently is falling off the cliff and this is something very bullish for the Bitcoin price and overall also for the stock market and it doesn't look like the DXY is gonna recover anytime soon in the opposite it's testing again previous resistances which now should be new support it is looking quite weak in my opinion and here in the one hour you can see that currently the Bitcoin price is holding perfectly support along the 20 moving average and we are very soon testing again this top of this channel that we are in currently we're gonna have a look into the daily time frame about this channel later on but currently here the top should be at around twelve thousand dollars so i'm expecting here a possible retest of the 12k incoming pretty soon even though there are some big warning signs that we maybe could have a big retracement back down here towards the support of ten thousand eight hundred dollar but the one hour is looking like that we could have this potential test here of 12k even though there are some signs that maybe we even come down again to retest this new support currently at eleven thousand five hundred dollar because since the breakout here we didn't come down here to test and confirm the new support and also if you have a look here into the Bollinger Band and also in the other indicators like the MACD and KSD you can see that they all shifted to the downside we are currently trading on the upper area here of the Bollinger Band but as soon as we're gonna have a close below 11,740 I'm expecting here correction at least to retest this $11,500 new support which now is also the bottom of the Bollinger Band in the one hour and comparing to the DXY of course here we had a big plunge and after this little breather to the upside we are starting to continue to plunge here and in my opinion this support here at 93.20 will not hold here in the next couple of hours so if we see here a continuation to the downside watch out for the 93 dollars level and if this one is also getting broken then we could potentially even fall towards the main support of 91 dollars and that could lead into a big pump in the bitcoin price and that's why i think it is still very likely that maybe within this week we're gonna see 14 thousand dollars and if we switch over into the four hour you can see that currently the 20 moving average which should now be the new support is right here at eleven thousand six hundred dollar so it is very likely that if we're gonna have a possible pullback here uh, that we're gonna test this eleven thousand six hundred to eleven thousand five hundred dollar before we're gearing up here for another attack here of 12k because we have rsi here in overbought condition and also my own indicator is looking like that we could get a sell signal pretty soon and if we go over into the DXY here also the RSI is coming down into oversold condition so even though we could have a possible bounce here to the upside in the DXY we should expect continuation to the downside and if we zoom out here you can see that we have a lot of room left to the downside and that's why I think if the Bitcoin is having a pullback maybe we will not see prices again below 11k and if so then possibly to go and test the 200 moving average here at around 11,000 to 10,800 before we're having another big bounce to the 
upside and if we have a look into the bollinger band in the four hour currently also here we are testing the topper area so also here if we're going to see a rejection towards 11,600 even down to 11,500 we should have a bounce from it so if you're looking to catch here a long position then wait for this possible pullback because i still think we're going to see here a bounce and of course if we're going to have a four hour close below 11,500 then this could initiate a correction uh, towards 11,000 dollar potential potentially even to test 10,800 because don't forget we have two CME gaps below of us and uh, here the KSC and MACD are still shifted to the upside which is still looking bullish so even though we could see a possible short-lived breather here to the downside we should expect a continuation to the upside and also if we go over into the daily time frame you can see that currently we are having this uh, big bounce from this main support here at, uh, at 10,500 and currently it's right here at 10,800 where the 50 daily moving average is lining up and you can see that the 20 daily is right here at 11,200 this is also where we more or less have a future gap still opened and if we zoom out you can see that in the bigger picture here we are still in this big channel with the support of 10.8 and this possible resistance up here at $14,000 and the only thing that we still need to make is to break here this main resistance of 12k because within this big channel we have this little resistance here that is coming along here in the daily time frame and we just had three tests here of this resistance and right now we are possibly creating here another test and I think the fourth time maybe we, we are able to break it to the upside and in that case we would go immediately towards 14 Okay. so considering that here we still have a lot of room left to the upside and also the dxy has a lot of room left to the downside i think it is very likely that in case that the dxy is falling off the cliff here towards 91 dollars that here in the bitcoin price we're gonna have here a push towards 14k and there of course i'm expecting a possible rejection or at least sideways trading and then maybe a crash towards the support again like we have seen now many times since we broke out from this uh, 10k resistance and also looking here at the indicators you can see that my own indicator is giving a sell signal we are looking a bit exhausted here even the RSI here is still in over bought condition and also if you have a look into the Bollinger Band you can see that we have the stochastic here in very overbought condition we are trading at the top area of the Bollinger Band so we could expect at any time a possible correction down to at least 11,000 so even though we are still looking so bullish here and we should expect continuation to the upside potentially even towards 14k there are some warning signs so it's not like you can just blindly go long right now because there are also signs that we maybe could see first a correction especially here in this area we could have another dump here towards the support of 10,800 before we're gearing up here for a possible big move towards 14k because Bitcoin usually or at least back in the past in 2017 and 18 had almost every week big moves of a couple of thousands of dollars and this is what is missing currently and that's why I think it is very likely that we may be going to see maybe within one day a move from 11,000 up to 14,000 dollar that wouldn't be something new for Bitcoin it's just something that we didn't see here during this rally here after bottoming out in March at around 4,800 dollars so this is the only thing what is missing currently on this nice bull run that we are having right now and even though there are still signs that we could see a bigger correction incoming potentially even towards 9k down at these levels we will remain very bullish for the long term so don't wait for the big crash or for a potential bigger correction already start right now to dca into bitcoin because in the next coming months and years you will be doing very fine and we can now also have a look into the weekly time frame and here you can see that we are starting this week nicely here with a nice bounce to the upside now to test here this 12k area we also have the rsi above the 50 level and also we still have our 20 weekly moving average right here at 10,650. so the more we are trading above the 20 weekly moving average the more all these moving averages are coming up here and that's why my friends even though we could see still some corrections just buy Bitcoin is still not too late we are now in the beginning of a big bull run and it's just a matter of time till we are starting to get parabolic here and you definitely don't want to start FOMOing in once the price is making new all-time highs and with that said guys I'm gonna wrap it up for now if something crazy is going on I'm gonna do an update video
video or I will be live over on Twitch. So if you have Twitch, make sure to join also my channel over there. You find the link down below here and also feel free to join our Discord trading chat completely for free and everyone is welcome. And if you are completely new in the crypto space, then make sure to open an account on Coinbase or Swissborg, for example, with the links down below here, you will get some extra bonus money so you can get some cryptos for free. So definitely use my links if you are new in the crypto space. So thank you very much for watching my friends. Don't forget to subscribe here to moon up the likes very much appreciated. And we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye.